story. Ooh. All right. So for the sake of our students who are not here today, uh, this is Class 6, Addendum 1A, Part 1, Stardate uh, 3.16.16. Uh, so we're going to look at a condition of, let, I'll do it on, tell you what, Mary, I'm going to do it on, on my character here. Let's add an event of other, and what is it called? Outside room. When your character is outside the room, we could go to main two. She was just asking, what do you do when your character falls out of the room? And there's a couple things we can do. Uh, we'll just restart the room when you're outside the room. Usually when they're outside the room, I have them just bounce back and stay in the room. So let's go ahead and run this, and we'll see uh, how easy that is. Now, now we get into a whole other subject of how do you do a graceful fail. Epic fail. Epic fail or graceful <laughs> fail. Uh, <coughs> by the way, you guys like this background? I just snagged this off the internet. <laughs> and slapped it on there for one big background. We'll do backgrounds at some point. Oh, now he's going to fall. There he went. He, he went outside the room. Boop, we went outside the room that way too. Boop, outside the room that way. Got me? Uh, a great thing for you to do as a developer is to give yourself some shortcuts and cheats. I'm smiling broadly at the class. <laughs> cheats. Add, uh, let's see, we'll do an add key release letter. And I always like to do R for restart. Uh, this is just an escape key just in case something goes dreadfully wrong. And don't forget to name it. <laughs> Has somebody got elevator music on there? Um. We will add. <laughs> we will. All right, y'all. We will add command. We will add that command to the room. All right, y'all. We losing you here? Are you still with me? They have spring break itis around here. So, what we could do is on that key, I just told it to say when I press key R to restart the room. That's very, very helpful. Very helpful. Uh, the other thing we could do is with the object command, here's a good thing. We'll do a step event, and we can check to see if an instance exists. If the test count for car is equal to zero, we can also restart the room. Now, that means when the car is destroyed, right? So on the car, when it's outside the room, we would instead tell it to destroy yourself, right? Your recording stopped, but I restarted on the uh, laptop here, so that's all right. We'll carry on here. I don't think we've missed anything. So let me go ahead and I'm going to take out some of these blocks. This gives us a fail opportunity. Now it's really important. It's really important to give your players the chance to fail. Nothing makes a game more exciting than this win-loss kind of an idea, which is why I think fighting games and shooting shoot 'em up, kill or be killed is kind of fun because you have this very distinct idea of win or lose, or you either make this jump or you get sent back to the beginning. Right? It makes you nervous. Isn't it more fun when you're like, my hands are starting to sweat, I don't know if I'm going to make this jump or not? Uh, there's also the exciting epic of, I just killed 12 bad guys in a row and they didn't get me. It's more exciting when it's possible that they could get you, right? <laughs> I mean, running through a game where you could just slaughter all the bad guys is no fun. Having the opportunity to slaughter them, but you're not because you're winning is fun. Okay, here's my big hole. Boo, boom. There we go. Do you see that? So what, what happens here, as I said... Boo! I said boo! Boo! Uh, when the car is outside of the room, destroy the car. Now that comes up to the command object saying, if there is no car, restart the room. You follow me? Now what can we do to make that a little bit more... What can we do to make that a little bit more uh, engaging instead of just a hard restart? Anybody got any thoughts? What would you normally get? What happens when Mario falls in the pit? <laughs> It's true. It takes away coins and subtracts a life. What, the other thing, what I'm thinking, though, is Mario goes, like that. You like that? No, I'm making noises today for you at home. 
uh, and he and he shrugs his shoulders. He goes ah. He flies up from the bottom. He goes ah, and he shrugs his shoulders like oh nuts, my bad, and then restarts. And that's so a change sprite, right? that's a change sprite. Actually, that could be a complete change object. We could do a complete object change and tell the object you know where to be on screen, and then after a minute, go ahead and destroy. So. Let me get another real quick here. Uh, this is going to be probably the worst fail animation ever because I'm just going to. Uh, oh, I hate this one. Here's a neat trick, by the way. Watch this animation disappear over five frames. <laughs> Did you see that? It <laughs> just blinks. Okay, we're going to do uh, object car fail. Uh, add event on create. We could tell it where to go in the room, right? Yeah. Let's see. We'll do. What shall we do? An alarm or. A, let's do an animation end. Other? Animation end, uh, then we'll do the room restart, right? Room restart, boom. We could make it go flipping in the air and falling outside the room. Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to use this one because we're going to have the car change itself. When you're outside the room, instead of destroy the instance, actually, actually, we do want it to destroy, we want it to destroy itself and do what? I just made a new object called car fail. Create the car fail. Create the car fail. Boom. Don't we, use coding we could use code for that. We're going to create it at our. Um, we want it to stay at our x position. So with this one, we'll just do. We'll create it at our x position, but we'll go ahead and put it up in the middle of the room somewhere, so it won't be outside the room. So like somewhere around y. Four hundred. Y400. So this will just. So theoretically, what should happen now is that when the car goes outside the room, it will create a car that vanishes right in the middle of the screen and then it'll restart. Pretty lame thing to do uh, in this game, but you can be more creative on your own time. Let's see if it works. Oh, there it went. It went really fast. <laughs> So what we can do is on create of the car fail, we will change sprite into what? Car fail, but change the speed to 0.25. That is the way you can change the speed of your animations. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? I have ex For those of you watching at home, I have nothing but excited faces. They're all just grinning ear to ear. I can practically see them trembling. You need to put that guy to work and make him do something. I don't know. That's part of your game design, isn't it? I think I may have made a pit that's too big. There you go. Do you see him? Oh no! Boom. Now, what we could have done instead of that, what we could have done, what else could you do here? We could just write the word fail, right? Fail. Fail. Make it explode. You could you could make an explosion if you want to. <laughs> this is this the yeah. most the most beautiful. <laughs> you suck. That's, that's, have you guys used fonts yet? It's pretty easy. Yeah, that's really easy. There we go. And we'll do an animation and we'll do a disappear over over five. There we go. That's that's just a quick quick way to do it. So now so now the car fail is just the word fail. Maybe that's a little better. 
If you want to get really crazy, we could make a big blackout object that fades away, but that's a little bit more coding. Fail! <laughs> la la! It's like so fun. You almost want to fail now, don't you? La la! 